Well, in the last like month or so, I have really uh, gotten into fixing uh, chainsaws, uh, old chainsaws especially. I do have this newer home light that uh, needs a tensioner right now, but it's still it's still decent. But there's something about an old chainsaw. Um, right here, I have my pull on 306A. It does have 245 side cover gas tank and air filter cover. I just like the look of them better. So I'm imagining that the carb is gummed up. I found a carburetor kit for 25 bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna purchase that and hopefully clean the carburetor out and replace the fuel lines, do a quick cleanup on it. Should work great. All right, got a uh, carburetor kit from eBay. Tillotson carburetor kit. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. This will just pop off the air filter. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that carburetor off now and uh, go ahead and start rebuilding it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, throttle linkage off right here. Then I'm gonna take the choke linkage, then the uh, fuel line. And it looks like there's a bolt right here and a bolt right here. And I also have a new gasket for that. So once that's off, we'll get back to you. All right. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four um, screws out. And I'm going to start from the top and kind of work my way down to the bottom here. Um, should work out good. And the top is just held on by four flat blade screws. They just go ahead and screw out. You have to be really careful with them because the carburetor body is aluminum and extremely fragile. And the bottom of the carburetor is the same exact thing. Four flat blade screws and that cover just comes right off. You can already see on the top of this that there is some crap in there. That's not good. Make it David's car. Now I'm just removing this flat blade screw, and that holds on the float valve and the needle. I went ahead and removed the flat blade screw, and now here comes the float valve and the needle. Our son, that's going to be amazing. This is so cool. There's some crap on that needle. Nothing too crazy, but it's there. All right, now, tons of modifications going on performance-wise under the car. In addition to shocks and springs, the exhaust and brakes are also going to be there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and lay this carburetor kit out on a paper towel and just make sure everything's there and in good shape. I'm going to pull these jets out of here so I can clean them. They, <laughs> that high side is pretty freaking high, so I'm just going to put them back to how they were and then I'll adjust from there. Alright, all the new parts are in the uh, carburetor and uh, uh, new fuel line here and a filter just to keep the junk out of the carburetor. Um, I had to reuse this one. This one wasn't in that bad of shape. Eventually I'll get, uh, I'll get a new one. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and put some fuel in it and see if it'll run. Just one more thing before we can fire this up. The uh, fuel tank uh, cover needs to go back on so there's pressure in the fuel tank. We wouldn't have had any fuel going to our carburetor if we didn't put this on. All right, got the gas tank back on it. Let's give it a couple tugs. On, choke. There goes the fuel.
old saw and uh, carburetor cleaning. Still need some fine tuning. I'll probably make another video on getting this thing tuned properly, but this thing was sitting on my shelf for a long time and uh, I'm pretty happy that uh, this thing can run now. So watch some uh, later videos and I'll probably get this thing all tuned. It runs but doesn't sound too good. You can hear it's kind of bogging um, even at idle. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching guys.